Hey guys, it's Johnny Tech Review. Today I have a quick unboxing and review for you of Yes Go Kick Action Camera Pack. As you can see here, yes, it's everything that comes in the package. Uh, come in this nice little carrying case here. You got your little QR code here for the Google Kick website. So yes, it's a nice hard carrying case. It's a nice zipper here with a little handle here to carry it. I'm gonna check everything that comes inside the package right now. As you can see here, you got here, everything is packed neatly. You got a camera cell. You have two batteries here. You have here, look like some mount. I'm gonna take the mount here. Here is the little uh, wireless remote control. So this has a built-in remote control that you can use to, uh, you know, take pictures and take videos right here. Some more mounting stuff. And here some helmet mount, more join. Look like here is the uh, camera thread. You have a skeleton mount, bikes, go and bike mount, j roin a power adapter. On this side here we have some velcro, a little strap, uh, instruction menu along with the instruction menu for the remote control, some uh, cable here, micro USB charging cable, cleaning cloth or feedback card. And of course finally uh, we have a camera and our battery pack right here. So guys I've been using uh, this Go Kick Action camera for the past week or so and uh, so far it's been working pretty well for me. So as you can see here I'm just showing you another version that Go Kick make. Um, you have here two different camera and I bet you, you can't even tell a difference between the two. They pretty much look pretty much the same. I'll show you right here as you can see. So they are pretty much identical as you can see. The only difference is that this one has a slightly different lens compared to this one. But uh, as far as performance wise, they seem to be about the same. So they have the same viewing angle and they capture the same uh, amount of light. And up top, you can see, pretty much the same. On the side, it's the same. And so it's on this side. So in the back here, you have just one small difference. You just want to say sport camera while you just want to say action camera. So the one that come with the remote control, the one that we're reviewing today is the one that say the action camera. And it comes with this little red uh, wireless control here. So you can use the app to control it, but you can also use this uh, little remote here. I previously reviewed a Go Kit with the app already, so I can kind of show you again real quick what it does. But uh, this is the remote and I want to focus on yesterday. So it comes with two batteries, one is inside here and the other one is here as you can see. And um, yeah, this is uh, the remote and the remote is pretty simple. You have here two buttons, you just have the uh, take pictures, as soon as you press it, a flash and the camera will take a pictures. And the video button, you press it once to start recording, press it again to stop. And you can also hold out the red button here to turn the camera off. See how this put up faster and it's uh, blue and this is red uh, on that logo. So as soon as you come up here, it's ready to be used and uh, basically the remote control is good. So this is a uh, you know radio remote control so you do not have to be you know wind sight or anything like that. They rate it for about 15 meter which is roughly about 45 feet and in practice uh, outside you can get about that much. Indoor is a little bit more tricky, 20 feet or so, but outdoor you can get 40, 50 feet easily in this. So if you would press this red button, you can see, snap a picture immediately. And here, if you press this uh, video recording, you can see you start recording right now. And then you press it again, you can see it stop just like that. You hold out this uh, red button, it will turn it off here in a second as you can see. And yeah, uh, that's pretty simple. So this guy here is also waterproof. Inside it's a corn cell battery, but so far it's been working well for me. But you can of course add this to the wrist strap and just have this on the wrist. And uh, you can use this you know, while you're in the water and stuff. And you can have this remotely all over your head and you can control it right here. Um, so that's about it. Uh, the only thing that uh, it doesn't really tell you is that when it's recording that like this is blinking So it's really just one way. It's just a remote. It's not two ways So it's you're not gonna know if it's blink you know, recording or not uh, You just kind of have to uh, figure out by looking at the light up here. So that's the only disappointing thing So to start a Wi-Fi connection all you have to do is just uh, press this button down here The down button and it will start that and on your phone here. You can pick the Wi-Fi to connect to it uh, I can right now and the password is basically one two three four five six seven eight nine 890 so you can see right here and you are now connected to it you say Wi-Fi can connection is ready so that we use is called iSmart DV as you can see right here just launch it take a second and then you get the video up here and the fee is actually pretty good when this app it does cut out when you go outside and you have a range even here you can see sometimes it lags but in general it's pretty fast right now but uh, you know after about 50 feet or so it does get a little bit stuttery so previously I mentioned about this app uh, there's not a lot of control here you can uh, you know, take a picture, you can do video by pressing this red button here. You can kind of look at the camera roll, but you can only look at pictures and you cannot look at videos. 
um, you cannot download the videos you can you only see them as a thumbnail but if you click on it uh, as you can see here it says streaming is not supported so it's pretty much useless download button doesn't even work either you can only download the pictures but only you download the video so it's really kind of boring uh, this app is not very good at all so you can uh, kind of start a recording and stop that's about it and if you lose wi-fi during the time there's a good chance that uh, you cannot uh, you know resume the video and, and you might unable to stop the video and uh, you basically lose the footage uh, in setting you do not have that much option either this is all the option you have in setting as you can see so you do not get a lot of option at all and this is basically about it so it's really disappointing for the app so there's another app here called iSport Cam and this is a different app on the App Store that also supports this camera so uh, same exact thing and you can see here this app has a very similar um, functionality you have the uh, same setup uh, you can switch between pictures and video like before and in setting again you are very limited to the option uh, so yeah even just uh, you know external app here is not very good so you can press the power button up here to switch the mode you can see here so in video you have pictures you have bus mode so you can take a multiple pictures and then you have time lapse and then you can go into setting and if you click up top here that take you to the setting option as you can see and these are some of the settings you have very similar to the previous version and you can see here, here's a video resolution, 1080p at 30 frame, 720p at 60 frame per second. You have blueprint setting, timestamp, exposure setting, photo resolution, burst mode, time lap, continuous lapse, uh, power frequency. So very similar to the previous version, not much different here as far as uh, the uh, software here. So you're getting pretty much the same camera. The only difference is that this one is able to handle, uh, you know, a remote control. Uh, and if I try to use this remote control with uh, this version here, it doesn't work at all. So definitely you have to correct, get the correct version to make this work. So as far as using this camera, I use it uh, mostly to record my uh, quadcopter and uh, some action sport outside. And you can see from my footage, uh, you know, the picture quality is pretty decent when you have good lighting. Uh, if you're taking still pictures, it's not very good at all. Um, the pictures are not very sharp and uh, in this one picture here, I can show you the contrast uh, between the skies and the ground here. You can see there's a lot of purple fringing. So yeah, the 12 megapixel uh, picture mode is not very good, but the video quality is pretty decent for something of this price. Uh, I do wish that there's a 60 frame per second on this updated version here, but uh, of course it's still only 30 frames per second for the uh, 1080p. So uh, do keep that in mind. If you want a smoother footage, you have to drop that to 720p to get the 60 frames per second. It works pretty well. Um, so far I'm using this remote control here, which is pretty convenient. Uh, but you do have to kind of check to see the light to see if it's recording or not as it does not tell you on this remote control here. Uh, the remote control and the cameras are waterproof when it's in the waterproof housing and in my experience uh, I use it before it works well but so the best I can do in this version is uh, just you know throw it in a bucket of water and see how it works fine and uh, yeah I had no problem with that but I cannot go any deeper like a swimming pool. That's pretty much conclude my quick review of this Go Kick Action camera. I hope it helped you in your budget decision. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment below. And as always, stay tuned for future review. Thank you.